Here we have another game between probably two of the most known players at the moment, and I don't know if I'd say they're definitely really active, but I don't know if they're about as active at the moment as they were a while ago. Anyway, before I keep going, let's have a look at who we've got. In the blue, we have Jordan23, who really needs no introduction, and playing against him, we have the Viper. Again, needs no introduction whatsoever. Both players on top of their game at the moment. And pretty much on top of the scene, definitely at that kind of perspective right now that they're just kind of looking down on everyone else playing. Uh, up there with Riot as well. Uh, interesting to see how Batchifro is doing, actually. He's definitely high on the ladder right now, but uh, which means, of course, he's winning, but I haven't seen anything amazing from him yet, which is kind of interesting. I'm still hanging out for that game where he just starts destroying some people, so... We'll see how that goes. Anyway, two of the Tyrant members here are going to duke it out for a bit. And of course, both these guys being pretty good friends. So we can expect uh, both of them wanting to win this one here just to be able to drop it on the other. So let's have a look at the maps. Viper having his first gold over here. Going to hurt a little bit with the saturation of that due to the wood around the side of that. However, it shouldn't be too bad if we get, say, a camp there and like a camp over here or something. But we'll see how that ends up being laid out. Wood in the back as well as this one over here. Seeing that as well, Viper having two really terrible woods and an extremely open map, but we'll get to that. Uh, this one over here, of course, on the gold, so if he wants to put a lumber camp down there, it's going to be trouble saturating that again. And this one over here, if we look at the amount of wood that's actually available in this set here before another lumber camp really badly needs to be made, I could, we might even see a second one there. But if one comes into the back, you're going to be annoying, going to be pretty easy to harass, so it uh, could be a little bit of an issue here for Viper to deal with. Berries up on the front as well. This massive hill here going to be a bit of an issue if Jordan starts pushing in. Saying that, he's also got this massive set of hill over here. Two golds over here, which uh, it's not too bad, honestly. This can be walled in pretty easily, but it's Viper, and this is pretty far out to be walling. So at least he has room to expand, I guess, but this hill here is just going to be absolutely nuts to try and work with. Stone on the front, and his real other wood being on the front as well. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a town center come up somewhere around here later in the game just because he's going to have to move his wood source. So let's check out Jordan at the moment. Uh, and I should probably just note how open this map is up here. It's really not nice. All these woods that you kind of get usually around, about that was usually about there or something, but uh, really open for Viper at any rate. So really interesting one there. And it looks like, what's Viper doing with these guys? Is he taking Hunt or is he fording? Viper's going up on 20 pop and fording, so we better go check out Jordan's base before they get there. Berries in the back, wood in the back, not such a bad wood, but still not the best in the world. Stone in the back, gonna have the gold on the front here, and I think that's probably one of the reasons Viper is fording. Stone on the side, and another lumber camp up on the front here, so if, uh, Jordan has split his lumber. Probably a smart call, especially considering Viper's gonna be fording, it means he won't be able to pressure them at once. Won't be able to pressure them both with one tower, so Viper will be forced to take more stone if you want to drop some towers. Saying that, though, it looks like Jordan has spotted the fords, so he's pretty prepared for it, I would say. Viper's, of course, going to be up a little bit earlier, but Jordan's going to have that extra bit of economy, so hopefully he should be alright. I don't think there's really much else to note. There is quite a bit of a hilly section over here, having lots of room to expand out to in this back. Saying that, though, going to be extremely hard to wall in if he wants to, but saying that, Jordan's not really a big waller either. Gold over here as well as one on this section here. It looks like an outpost coming up for Jordan already. Uh, probably a good call, actually. Going to be able to see this area here. And there's the barracks for Jordan. Barracks is already up for Viper. Looks like he will drop an archery range straight away. Going to move into skirmishes, which is pretty much how this game is played when you forward like this. Because you just don't have the amount of villagers to be able to take gold. Seeing that as well, Viper continuing villager production because he really needs to get his eco back up on par right now. And Barracks coming up. There's already a spear out for Jordan though. And Viper's starting to get ahead here. This could be really bad for Jordan. Uh, not even Feudal Age yet, so he's not even going to be able to combat those skirmishes once they start coming out until he gets some of his own out. Because of course we do know that spears have a bit of trouble against uh, skirmishes just because of the attack bonus and the range. Ooh, probably a good call by Viper there abandoning that one. Whether or not he chooses to delete it. Looks like Jordan's going to get this tower up anyway. Kind of a good idea. We'll be able to protect his wood, sort of. And it looks like, yep, Viper going to be starting to move around with these skirmishes. Starting to try and get a little bit of harass. Viper putting up a tower over here. Has he taken stone? No, it was just a well-timed deletion by the looks of it. And that tower going to stay there for Jordan until he needs it. Because he doesn't want to waste time on it. And if he can delete it, I guess, when he needs stone, he can get it. Good snipe there by Jordan, gonna manage to grab that scout pretty easily there, utilizing the town center of course. 
And it looks like right now we actually see Jordan pushing out here, and this could be a bit of an issue for Viper. Jordan's getting his second range up, whereas Viper's still stuck on one, so he's going to be out producing. These villagers are taking down this tower pretty quickly, saying that as well. Skirmishes versus villagers. We know how that usually goes, but looking at this, Jordan... I can't tell who's taking the most damage here. Jordan's lost a villager, but... I think Viper's kind of getting this one. He's definitely getting some idle time out of Jordan right now, and the skirmishes for Jordan definitely starting to get killed off. So this might just get killed off there, and gonna have to retreat with those villagers before he meets too many. Viper definitely having the biggest army count right now, and starting to take stone with these villagers. Gonna start moving into towers, because why not? He can put one up here, and this will kind of harass this area here and here, as well as starting to lock it down. Plus, if we look at all the units that were actually used here, and the amount of damage Jordan actually took from that, the amount of idle time. Viper's definitely getting his idle time in here, which is what counts. He forwarded in with four villagers, so he's got to start making that time count off Jordan's, I guess is probably the best way to say it. Saying that as well, I don't think Jordan's going to have enough for a defensive tower as well. He's really going to have to rely on these skirmishes right now. And it looks like he's actually pushing Viper back here. I think he's done a good job of this outpost here, being quite smartly positioned. Going to notice anything coming in, so we will be able to react in time with these villagers. Blacksmith coming up for Jordan. Have we seen one for Viper yet? Looks like it's just coming up now. Still only one range for Viper. By the looks of things, can't see any more of them. No. Definitely outmassing Jordan, though. So this could be a bit of an issue here for Jordan to try and deal with. I think it's just a spearman that makes it look like more, but once those skirmishes start going to town, the spears will die off fairly quickly. And I think upgrade-wise, it's going to be about the same. Viper might get a little bit quicker, considering that he got his smith up earlier. But it's all going to depend on... Yep, there's a plus one for Viper, using that micro right now. Because he has that plus one, and microing with that is so much easier. I'm going to assume Jordan has it on the way. Yep, plus one has already been done. Viper coming in over here, getting some harassed with the spears, and another outpost coming up for Jordan. And taking gold back here, definitely a smart idea to be doing that, because he really needs to start getting some gold production in, and... Looks like Viper did pull all these skirmishes away, which is a good chance for him actually to get in here and get some harass. Saying that though, once this town centers garrison, these spears will be killed off extremely quickly. And not going to get a third. Villager will kill that one there though. And that one going to survive on 8 HP. Looks like he's just going to do some scouting. Tower over here from Jordan as well. Pretty well positioned, so he will be able to defend from this. And I'm pretty sure it should be able to reach his gold, so Viper's not going to be able to actually steal that. What's this coming up? It's another mining camp. Yes. It looks like Viper has scouted the mining camp, though. Probably a smart idea to do so. And that spear going to get beaten up by a villager's karate moves. And Jordan going to come in for some harass now, and I think Viper might be ready for this. He actually does have a stable up right now. And as we know, skirmishes versus scouts is really unaffected. There are a few spears here, but if Viper can take them out, it's going to be a bit of an issue. Forcing a defensive tower up for Viper, definitely a smart move. Saying that as well, Jordan already on par with these spears. He knows that the scout's coming out. And, ooh, this could be really bad for Viper right now, saying that. Jordan really starting to push Viper off this gold here. Lumber Camp will come up this tower here in quite a defensive location. Actually going to be up on the hill there. Trying to wall this off. Ooh. Oh, just not going to get it. That would have been an amazing wall if you managed to get that one. Another Lumber Camp coming up for Jordan. Jordan switching into Archers right now. Definitely quite an effective unit at this stage in the game. And look at the amount of production Viper's actually lost here. If we look at all these idle villages... Quite a bit going on, actually, and it looks like Jordan's just going to try and get out of there right now. I think he's done the harass he's intended on. Saying that as well, Viper is coming in with scouts around the side here to the gold. Going to be a bit of an issue with that. No spears out for Jordan, actually. So these scouts could actually do quite a bit of harass over here. There is enough villagers to be able to take them out, but the idle time and probably the amount of villagers killed is not going to work out in favor. Hmm. Looks like he lost one. Two. Potentially going to lose a third here. Three. Jordan over here. Doesn't look like he's killed off any real amounts of villagers. There's a few bodies scattered around here. Another tower coming up for Viper right now. Of course, really helpful that he takes stone really early. Taking that as well. It looks like all these wood villagers have transferred over to there. But he's still got villagers up here taking Jordan's stone. So quite an effective move from him. However, lots of scouts still over here. Viper going to be able to move back in and try and get some more harass on Jordan. Saying that though, Jordan is moving in right now. He's got archers on deck as well, so we'll be able to kill off those villagers an incredible amount quicker right now. Plus he does have the extra armor upgrade, which is going to be absolutely brilliant under these towers. Uh, they still do a lot of damage considering they shoot a lot of arrows at the moment, but when they're garrisoned. 
But, you know, the plus one, it, it really does help. Saying that though, trying to snag another villager there, not going to get it. Spear for Jordan. Going to be able to get one of those scouts, however, the rest will get away. Saying that they are getting onto quite low HP though. Except for that one, which is full, and Bloodlines has been done for Viper. Interesting call to do that. Hasn't exactly got a lot of scouts out in play, but still quite low on the resources as well, so he's not going to be able to go for Cavalry Archers anytime either as well. Jordan, looking like he's about to advance actually, and starting to get firmly in control of this game right now. 73 population for Jordan, Viper on 53, so a whole 20 population there, just making the difference. And Jordan actually going up to Castle Edge right now. The scores are still fairly similar right now. But it definitely appears as Jordan is starting to take this game by the horns easily right now. But, you know, it's Viper. He can definitely get back into it. But we'll see what happens. It looks like... Ooh, saying that, Viper's got quite a few scouts out now. I must have missed a few in there. Going to be able to push out well here. An outpost coming up after the Watchtower comes up here, though. So just out of luck. Not going to be able to grab that one in time. And it looks like these scouts are in for damage. Going for damage right now. They do have the plus one armor, plus bloodline. So they're in a pretty good position to do something. Especially against archers at the moment. They're going to take so many hits. That one there, I'm assuming, was already weak. Because that wasn't... Saying that, it is quite a few archers anyway. But still, Viper are going to quickly palisade this one here in. Because, well, if they can't attack it, that's good. And no murder holes. And until then, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble trying to attack it. Jordan hitting the castle age. Crossbow on the way. Don't think he's gone for cavalry archers, interestingly enough. Bodkin on the way as well. Looks like he's going to stick with crossbows for a while, which is fair, especially depending on the economies. Viper at the moment still not going up, nearly having the resources to, though. Nearly needing another 300 food. But the amount of scouts he's produced more than makes up for that food count. But still, Jordan not producing any. Ooh, going to lose two villagers over here. No third one, luckily. Siege Workshop is coming up, so he will be able to deal with those archers fairly easily. Crossbows still. Another archery range coming up. We seeing... What are we seeing from Jordan right now? Is he still producing crossbows or are we going for cavalry archers? Cavalry archers are on deck. And it looks like over here... Going to potentially see some more villagers kill, just one for now. Those archers doing a good job at defending it out, losing a second one there as well. However, Viper really starting to put the press on, but Jordan playing quite well, actually. He's playing really defensively here, and that Manganel going to be able to start taking out these buildings. Uh, really smart play from him to get that out, because, of course, it's a lot harder to kill off than a battering ram when protected. And it looks like slowly killing off the rest of these archers here. Viper was microing there quite a bit, but still not a, exactly a lot you can do. Going to be able to push in around here now as well, which is going to be quite a big deal if he decides to. And it looks like that's what he's going for. Could potentially lose a few villagers here, actually. And having enough range to actually hit the villagers here is actually huge right now. Because they do have a whole 7 range, saying that the towers do have 9. So he really has to be careful where he positions these guys. And it looks like he's moving back to his old Wumba source. Jordan again pushing out across the map and making things really hard for Viper. Saying that Viper hitting the castle age now, Jordan has got his cavalry archers out. Saying that though, they still don't have the bloodlines on them, which is going to make them a little bit less effective. They're not going to be able to take quite so many hits. But saying that, Viper up to the castle age has actually got three stables out, so knights could be the play from him here. And it would be weird if he didn't. Interested to see right now. It looks like Jordan was going to push in there, but I think he knows he will be outproduced pretty quickly, especially against knights. And it looks like these scouts will be killed off eventually as soon as they get hit. Monastery coming up for Jordan because he knows his opponent's going for a knight. It's quite a smart play there. Bloodlines looks like it's about to be done. There's definitely a stable out at any rate. So probably going to try and do that. Plus two armor already done for Viper. Forging done as well. So he has that plus one attack. And going to be interesting now to see how this one goes. Jordan is starting to take a massive lead right now. 400 points. Saying that as well. Has he, gone up to, he hasn't gone up to any extra town centers which is interesting. That's on Jordan. Viper going for an extra one though, so we will be able to start getting up on the economy right now. And these knights could potentially be in a bit of trouble here. They are starting to get out massed. However, the micro from Jordan at the start there wasn't the best in the world. He will bring in cavalry archers for support. And it looks like he's going to push those knights out of there. And going to snipe a crossbow there, because why not? And Jordan at this stage is starting to really look in control. Saying that though, he did lose his crossbows and skirmishes down in this section of the map. Going to take out that wolf. More units moving forward. It looks like this Mangonel could be in trouble here, potentially. And forcing them back, brilliantly played by Jordan there, moving the Cavalry Archers into position. And still no Bloodlines, but Mining Camp is going up on his main gold here. As this one over here should be run out, as it is. Viper has his gold looking. He's still got heaps available to him there. Lots of Knights out, and Jordan starting to go for Monks. Could be interesting to see if he can get many converts in this one.
Jordan at this point, only 300 points ahead right now, maybe 400 depending on, ooh, seeing that went up to 500 there. I think a lot of it's going to depend on how this fight goes, and it looks like Viper will be able to claw his way back up a little bit here, killing off quite a few crossbows. And really not losing too many knights there. The ratio wasn't too bad. Saying that, though, the cavalry archers still don't have bloodlines, which is absolutely huge. Plus two armor is on them, though, so that will be quite helpful. Not exactly sure how this one's going to work out right now. Jordan t starting to take stone, and there's that extra town center up. Going to see probably at least one more once he gets the stone for it. And I don't think we're seeing anything too ridiculous. Another archery range coming up. Still no bloodlines, Viper not pushing in, looks like he's moving around the side here to try and get a little bit, saying that there's actually another town center over here, which I think I did note, but he might go for a fourth one, depending on how he really feels about the situation. Viper though, sitting on two stilts, so actually being out economy right now by Jordan, which is not good considering he's so far away, but, ooh, taking the point lead there by a little bit Jordan right now, still not that much in it, saying that moving these knights in is trying to get some harass on these villagers, we'll get one, and... I think he's going to grab that one as well. Yes, he will. Going to lose two knights in the process, though. Two knights for two villagers. I don't know if that's worth it or not, honestly. Saying that, he might snipe a few more over here, actually. And actually, he's not going to. Some very well positioning there by the villagers, actually. The AI actually doing something decent for once. And it looks like over here, though, not going to be the same. Going to lose quite a few, actually. Three. Four. Five. I think I heard another one there. I think I heard six, so we'll call it six, and saying that I just heard a monk trying to get a convert. Looks like it was over here. Don't think he got it. Saying that, though, the monk looks like it will be killed off. It's not going to get to the town center in time, sadly. Over here, they're losing another two, three, four. Losing the four villagers over here. This stone has not been nice. A fifth one there. Uh, Viper slowly clawing his way back here into the score lead again. Really well played by him. Saying this though, Viper is trying to move forward with skirmishes. Probably a good idea considering he's up against Jordan right now. He's pretty much mastering cavalry archers. He does have a knight there, but most likely it was a convert, I would say, at this stage. So Viper really starting to push forward right now, and this is actually really going to hurt Jordan. Saying that Jordan is back in the score lead just. Manganel Skirmisher, a knight though from Viper, pretty good army composition here, can't really be beaten by anything at this stage I would say, Skirmisher Knight definitely being one of the stronger combinations uh, that you can get, because it's just a, such an effective combo, forcing villagers out of the way of this town centre here, and it looks like Viper's going to go for it here, don't know if this is a good or a bad idea right now, can't tell the scores are extremely close, fighting in between two town centres though, generally not a smart play generally, but it's Viper, of course, we're talking about. University's up. There's that fourth town center that I was expecting from Jordan. Having a few random cavalry archers over here because, well, he can. And I think this town center is doing a bit of damage, but not really enough because all these units here just have such a high armor account at this stage. Everything's got at least two, and that's the lowest on the cavalry archers. Everything else having pretty much higher than four. So, going to be a bit of an issue, actually. Jordan managing to hold it. Town center looks like it's going to just stand for a bit. Might be it. He needs to take out that Manganel, though, before anything else happens. Skirmish is moving in. And I would say, I don't know where this is going yet. If Viper knocks us down and doesn't take too many losses, it could spell a victory. But if Jordan takes this out right now, it's going to be a bit more of an issue. Saying that as well, Jordan's starting to mix some knights in. Knight, Cavalry Archer, quite, well, definitely a stronger combination than Cavalry Archer's. Uh, skirmish or Cavalry Archer Knight. Uh, I mean, Skirmish or Knight. Cavalry Archer Knight is exactly what they're using against each other. Saying that though, Jordan does not have the plus two on his Knights. He's only got the plus one there. So it means they're not going to be as effective. But saying that, looks like right now Viper's pushing in and he's, he's here for blood. Town Centers are actually forced to ungarrison now. So now is Viper's time to move in and... Ooh, depending on how this one goes, I think Jordan might be GG here. It doesn't look good for him at all, losing a lot of units here. Cavalry archers are getting taken out, and Town Center will be down ever so quickly right now. Jordan pushed back again. Luckily, he has that extra Town Center over here. Saying that as well, has taken gold over there as well. But Viper's pushing up across the map now, bringing some villagers with him. It looks like he's actually going to probably try and drop a castle. 
Yes, Castle is being dropped on Jordan right now, and I think this is GG, guys. He just does not have enough to be able to deal with this force by Viper here. He was in an extremely good position, but Viper being Viper was able to push him back to this kind of area here. And because of that, he's going to be able to pretty much take the game from here, I think. 500 points in favor to Viper right now. Castle coming up on the front lines, so he's not going to have access to this gold here. And starting to just really stretch Jordan extremely thinly here. The army of Viper just really being able to just pretty much destroy anything that Jordan is bringing out right now. And like I said, it's just stretching him all over the map right now. Knights will be able to run in here while he is harassing over here. Jordan just does not have enough army to be able to deal with this right now. Pushing forward. It looks like this is gonna, probably going to be the battle that decides it. I think Jordan knows where this is going. Unless we see some incredible micro here. Two mangonels as well, enough to do a whole heap of splash damage to cavalry archers on a hill or not. And yeah, just look at the amount of army that Viper has just sitting here. He's going to be able to kill this pretty easy. Jordan does have a hill advantage here, but it's, it's not enough. It is just not enough right now. Saying that though, some clever play on Jordan's beh behalf here, really just starting to snag units wherever he can, but these Megan Elves are just making life hard. It looks like this town center will go down eventually, depending on when it happens. Saying that, sending in the knights over here to be able to kill off most of the rest of the units. Economy is pretty much destroyed at this point, saying that as well. And well played there from a Vi uh, to Viper from Jordan. And yeah, it was definitely a well played game by both players. Jordan just seemed to lose it there at the last kind of section, the last kind of bend, where if he kind of pushed that away, he probably would have taken the game by storm. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you in the next game.